Hello again. Today we're going to run Android TV on laptop or desktop PC directly using a USB flash drive without any kind of installation. You will need a laptop or desktop PC, a monitor if you have a desktop PC, and a USB flash drive. I recommend using a 16 GB or more USB drive for better performance. Let's prep our USB drive by connecting it to your desktop or laptop PC because this is where Android TV will be. Next, download the Android TV image. Head over to this website to get a trusted image file of Android TV. Check out link in the description. Once it's downloaded, we will use a tool to flash the image like Rufus which does a perfect job and it's free. Head over to Rufus website and then download the portable version as it can be run anywhere without installing. Open Refuse and select the Android TV image file we just downloaded. Keep all the default settings as they are. For easier identification, rename the USB to Android TV. Though this step is optional, so feel free to choose any name that helps you remember it. Click Start to begin the process of burning the Android TV image. Once the process is complete, leave the USB plugged in and restart your computer. Depending on your PC manufacturer, keep pressing the F12 key to access the boot device menu. From this menu, select the USB drive you created for Android TV. After booting from the USB drive, the Android TV bootloader will appear. From there, choose the latest version of full screen Android TV. The boot time for Android TV TV will vary based on the speed of your flash drive. Once the Android TV loads up, we will continue the setup. From here, we will select Vert Wi-Fi, which is basically the emulated version of your Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi network. On the first startup, your Android TV home screen will appear blank. However, if you click on apps, you'll see all the pre-installed apps, including the Google Play Store. With this setup, you'll have the updated Android Pie 9 complete with the latest security patches. Plus, you'll get access to various settings like resolution adjustments, GPU settings, and more. The internal storage defaults to 8 GB, which is plenty for streaming apps. There's also a Bluetooth option available, though we haven't tested it. We did encounter some sound issues, but these were resolved by disabling fixed volume and using the setup wizard sound in settings. This version of Android TV is essentially a modified build of the Google Nexus player. One of the best parts is the included App Store, allowing you to download apps without needing to register with an email. You'll have access to a wide library of apps and games similar to what's available in the popular Play Store. We downloaded YouTube from the App Store and tested it at the highest resolution and it worked flawlessly. The sound you're hearing is coming from my Acer V227 monitor. We also tested out some games and they ran smoothly without any issues. Unfortunately, we didn't have a game controller on hand, so we couldn't fully dive into gameplay. Making an Android TV on the go USB stick is super handy, especially for tech enthusiasts. If you want to take it up a notch, you can grab a wireless TV remote controller for an even better experience. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.